Hello my beautiful Disney friends! Hey Twinklers, welcome back to my channel. I am going to finally be showing you guys what I picked up in New York, either from Box Lunch, the Disney Store, um, I might have a few other goodies in here as well, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure those are the two stores that I shopped at the most was Box Lunch and the Disney Store New York, the one in Manhattan, because oh my gosh, they had so many awesome things some that were exclusive to the Manhattan location, so I was so excited to be going there because I mean, it's not like every day I get to go to Manhattan and pick up some things from the Disney store. So while I was there, I definitely had to take advantage of that. First, I definitely have to talk about my trip to New York. I went down over a month ago now, or about a month ago now, to visit Rowan, Rowan from the Disney Damsels. Oh my goodness, you guys. Honestly, it was such an awesome experience to go down there and visit Rowan. Rowan and I have been friends on YouTube now for the past at least six months. I mean, that's debatable on who you ask, but we have been friends for the last six months. So I got the chance to go to New York and visit Rowan, and honestly, it was so amazing. They picked me up, it was her, her husband, and Sophie who picked me up at the airport. I was there for four days, and honestly, the entire time there was so great. Rowan is literally the person you see. She is so bubbly and so fun and like honestly hilarious. She does not think that she is funny, but she is literally so funny and she just doesn't even realize it, which makes her even more funny. Like, oh my gosh, she was literally like she was hilarious. I was laughing so much when we were there and it was honestly just amazing. We were, you know, essentially strangers to each other. We, um, she picked me up. We gave each other like the hugest hug ever and it was just like, it's like we were friends forever. It's like we just got together after not seeing each other for a while and we just picked up and everything was honestly perfect. It was not awkward at all. And we just had such great conversations. We had good Disney conversations. We had good life conversations. We talked about kids, marriage, spending money. Um, just all of it. So it was honestly so great to be able to connect with another Disney YouTuber and another mother and someone who is just like honestly one of my really good friends. Rowan and her husband Hafez, I definitely have to give props to Hafez as well because I mean yes Rowan and I were friends so that's why I went over there but Hafez was honestly so nice and so sweet like he let a stranger come and stay in his house for four days and do a bunch of Disney stuff and like took me around took me to Manhattan like he was like such an amazing husband it's like unbelievable um, Rowan was so awesome and so gracious. She thinks she didn't feed me. Like, Rowan, you fed me tons. I just honestly wasn't hungry a lot of the time we were at your house because you took me out and you fed me a bunch of other places. So don't worry, girl, you fed me. I clearly ain't starving. But Rowan was honestly such a nice host. Anything I wanted, she like definitely went out of her way to get me. Uh, she was definitely like, like my tea maid. She made me tea like a bunch of times, like a few times a day for sure. Um, she knew how much I liked tea, so she was making me tea a lot. Um, any place I wanted to go shopping, because there was definitely a few places I wanted to go shopping. Um, so she took me anywhere I wanted to go. She took me to her parents' house, and oh my goodness, you guys, I have never Never met like such a nice lovely and beautiful family her entire family literally so nice like I went in the house um, I met a beer a beer is so gorgeous oh my god just so beautiful uh, I met her niece Dahlia I met Sal her brother-in-law I met her two other sisters um, Mama and Baba, oh my gosh, like these people were literally the nicest people ever. Um, her mom had me over, um, well, I mean we went over a few times, but she made a special Arabic dinner for me. She made a special Arabic breakfast for me. She gave me a facial, like honestly so, like how, like how amazing is that? How stinking amazing is that? And her dad, honestly, he was such a nice guy. I could have sat there and listened to his stories forever, but Ron was like, Kate, you are boring, Taryn, let's go. But honestly, just the most beautiful and accommodating family and so welcoming, like, oh my goodness, they were, they were so great. Rowan and I did a lot of work while we were down there. We did a lot of videos. Um, we we did so many videos. I'm not even sure how many we did. I'm pretty sure at this point most of them are up. There might be one or two still left over, but um, 
I'm not sure at the time when I put this up, but we, we did a lot of videos and honestly they were so much fun to do. I hope you guys have really, really enjoyed them because we really enjoyed doing them for you. And most of them were Rowan's idea. She's so creative and like we just literally had a blast. So let's get on to the haul now. So like I said, we definitely went shopping a few different places, um, but I pretty much picked up everything from either Box Lunch or the Disney store. But first I have to give a shout out to Primark. Yes, America has Primark now. It is definitely not the same as the one in the UK. It was definitely not as, I don't wanna say good, but it wasn't as good from the ones that I at least see on YouTube or other people's videos. Um, they had a lot of stuff, they had a lot of cool stuff, but it's not like the one in the UK where they have like a designated like Harry Potter section or a designated Disney section or like um, Pokemon section or whatever the heck you are into. Like they have like floors of those things at the UK store where at least the one we went to wasn't like that. They had like a small little section and it wasn't even like anything huge. It was like, okay, a few t-shirts here, a few sweaters there and like that was literally it. But while we were there, I actually saw this shirt and I thought it was so cute. So I actually picked up one for myself and I picked up one for Rowan because I mean, she was honestly such a great host. I had to get her a few things. She got me a bunch of things too. Actually, I will leave our unboxings down below. If you guys have not seen those, please go check those out. I got a box for Rowan, Rowan got a box for me. So make sure you go and check out those goodies because they were amazing. But I got this shirt, it was $12. I thought it was so cool and like the front of it, yeah, okay. It's kind of like, oh, what are you talking about, Taryn? Yeah, it's cool, but what? The real magic is happening in the back. So this is actually the picture that it has on the back. I will show you after, but like how cool is that? It says Mickey Mouse ye olden days. I think this is so sweet with Mickey and Minnie and the little donkey at the bottom. Like that is so sweet. When I saw this, I was sold. I love old vintage Disney things and it's definitely an old vintage Disney poster. So I was absolutely in love with it. And like you cannot beat the price. So I picked up this t-shirt. Moving on to the Disney store, Rowan definitely wanted to take me to the one in Manhattan because it is obviously a special one. We did go to the one that was close to her house, but it was honestly um, nothing like crazy. It was very similar to the one that I have close to me. Um, so I didn't get anything in there. And honestly, my whole intention for being down there was to go to stores that I don't have around me. Um, Cause if I'm gonna pay for the exchange on it, I wanna make sure it's something that I can't just easily get close to where I am. That is bad English, I should have said that better. So I didn't pick up too, too much from the Disney store, but I definitely picked up a few things. And of course I picked up expensive things, so it's still added up. But let me show you. So this first item is something you've actually already seen in one of my videos, but I love it so much. I honestly can't get over it. It is this mini sweater from Cakeworthy. Oh my gosh. I seriously love this sweater so much. I saw it on Instagram <clears throat> from Cakeworthy and I was like, yes, like I'm getting it. I put it in my save file because I wanted it so stinking bad. And then we were at the Disney store and they actually have like a little section for Cakeworthy there. I couldn't believe it. I was like over the moon and they had this sweater, you guys. They had this mini sweater and I absolutely love it. Mini's looking like so super fierce. I love the writing and the color blocking. Like every area has like a different color on it. It was definitely screaming to my 90s heart. I think this is seriously so cute. It wasn't necessarily cheap. I want to think um, after conversion it was something like $60. But I mean, it was $60 for a sweater. I'm going to wear it quite a lot. I've already worn it a bunch of times and you will see it in tons of other videos because I seriously love it. And I didn't have to pay shipping on it. So like it was definitely money well worth it. And I'm so in love with it. The other few items were things that I just picked up for the kids. I wanted to get them something special since I was away and they weren't. And I saw this and I definitely thought it was so super cute. It is a New York taxi box and it has these two cute little zooms in here. So we have a Mickey and a Minnie zoom. And this is what it looks like just inside the box. Like seriously, how sweet is that? So you have them driving and then it shows them 
from the back of the car and from the front of the car. Um, and then when you actually take them out, because you can actually pop them in and out pretty, pretty easily, but I mean, I'm giving these to the kids, so they're not gonna stay in the box. So you pop out Minnie and she is in I love New York shirt. Like that is so cute. That is so adorable. I mean, love that is something that is exclusive to the New York store. So that one is the mini one. But then when you pop out this next one, it is Mickey and he is an apple. He is an apple for the big apple. How adorable and original and cute is that? And like, you can definitely get away with this in Zoom form because like, it's, it's literally so sweet and cute and creative. And I love that it comes inside of like a little taxi. Cause I mean, New York, New York taxis, come on. The last two things from this one were again, also my foot's asleep. The last two things from the Disney store were again stuffies. So this first one for my son was this Mickey I Love New York stuffy. This is so cute. He looks like such a sweet little tourist with his little shirt on. Again, so awesome. Something that is exclusive there. You can't find it anywhere else. This is also a pretty good size Mickey. Um, so I'm, you know, totally loving him. My son was so happy with him. I actually called my son and I gave him a few options. I was um, FaceTiming him and I said, do you want this toy? Do you want this toy? Do you want this? He saw the Mickey and he was like, please bring me that home. And I was really happy because this is definitely the one I wanted to bring him home. And then the last thing and honestly something I knew they had there and I knew I wanted to pick up for my daughter slash me was this mini, oh my gosh, this mini Statue of Liberty. How cute is she? Seriously, in this outfit, I just, I think it's so hilarious. It is so cute. I love this. I love the way it's done. I love her face. It's like, I can't even describe what her face is like, but it's seriously so cute. It's very like cartoony. I want to say like it's almost drawn on. And then she is in the Statue of Liberty's outfit and the color is beautiful. I love the flame. And then she's holding the tablet as well. Like seriously, so cute. Again, exclusive to the Manhattan store. It also at the bottom says Disney Store New York. Um, so I was really, really happy I could pick this up for my daughter slash me. Moving on to the other store that I did a little bit of damage at was a box lunch. Again, I really didn't pick up too much there, but you know, when you're shopping, it doesn't take much to add up. There was a bunch of pins I actually wanted to pick up. Um, so that's actually why I really went there, but I did pick up two shirts while I was there as well. The first thing is this Tiana t-shirt. Isn't it absolutely adorable? Again, it has almost like that poster feel with it. So it says Tiana's plays buttermilk vignettes making dreams come true and again like I love it Tiana's such a hard worker she's such a cute princess and she's just a great little inspiration and I absolutely oh there's a little fuzzy on her face I absolutely love this shirt I think it's absolutely beautiful and I love the contrast between the light colors and this beautiful burgundy and like I said Tiana's just looking really pretty and I'm just loving the whole vintage poster vibe with this they had a sale on apparel while I was there. I believe it was buy one, get one 50% off. So naturally I started looking around after I found the Tiana shirt because I found that one first. And I had a few other shirts in my hand, but once I found this one, like it was done. I knew it was getting it. This Dumbo t-shirt, ah, yes, it is so cute. It's honestly very basic. It's nothing too crazy. It's just this beautiful blue color. It's honestly almost like a periwinkle with just this gorgeous little pocket square over here and Dumbo, it looks like he's almost like falling into the pocket square. I am totally going to be wearing this to the opening, which is going to be coming up like really so soon, like it's so soon. So I'm definitely going to be sporting this t-shirt, wearing my ears, having my backpack on, and I think even possibly some shoes. I don't know, I gotta work on that one. But this shirt was seriously so cute. And like I said, it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I was in. Last thing is just a bunch of pins that I wanted to show you guys. So like I said, <clears throat> Box Lunch always has some really, really great pins. Some of these pins are actually ones that I wanted to get a hold of for the past little while, 
but since box lunch actually has really crazy shipping prices unless I'm buying a lot it's really not worth it because it's at least $31 base price to ship from box lunch so I, I don't honestly do it too often but since I was going down, I knew I was going to pick some up and they actually had a really good sale on pins as well. I believe it was buy two, get one free. So I mean, that's always great because pins can be expensive, but anytime you get a sale, I'm all about it. So this first set is this Princess and the Frog set. It is this Tiana and Naveen. And I love that Tiana is in this gorgeous dress. It's her gorgeous green dress and Naveen is sitting down here just waiting to be kissed. Um, I saw this one come out before I went down. I definitely wanted to pick it up, so I was so happy that they still had it. Next one is this Lady and the Tramp one, and I've actually come across a few lady pins that I've actually picked up recently. So when I saw this one, I thought, hey, this would be really cute to kind of go into that collection. Not like it's going to be a main one or anything, but I thought it was really cute. So we have Lady and Tramp, and obviously the iconic scene here, and they have the Tony's restaurant in the back, and I love eating at Tony's when you go to Disney World. So I thought that this was so cute, and it definitely spoke to my Lady and the Tramp heart. These last three are all a part of a set that I've wanted to get for quite a while and I was finally able to when I went down there. So this first one, these are all Fantasia pins. So this is from the scene with all of the unicorns and all of the little pegasuses. And this is the little unicorn and literally how sweet is this? When I saw this one, I definitely wanted to get this one for sure. It's the only standalone one in this collection, but seriously, how beautiful is she? Then we have this one with all of the flying little pegasuses. Some of them don't want to stay where they're supposed to. But again, I absolutely love this scene. It is one of my favorites from the entire movie. And this is so cute. I love how it goes across. And it's almost like the colors of the rainbow. I've wanted this one for such a long time. My husband was actually going to get it for me for Christmas, but the shipping was crazy. So I wasn't able to get it, but since I was there, I picked it up. And this last one is the dancing scene from Fantasia, which I honestly also love. It is so hilarious where everybody is dancing together and the alligator is trying to eat everyone and the hippo literally just keeps landing on him and she's having just a great old time dancing. And in the end, he's really not loving it or all about it. But I seriously love this scene and I love the movie Fantasia. It is one of my favorite movies. That is the original, not the remake. And this is so cute and again, so happy to have this one. I also just quickly have to mention something else that Rowan gave me. And honestly, she might not have thought it was a really big deal, but it's something that I thought was so special. And I was honestly so happy to get. Um, so I definitely wanted to share that with you. Um, so here it is. So right before I was leaving, Rowan had actually gifted me these three pins. And if you guys don't know what these are, Rowan and Mina actually came up with some pins and actually made them last year. And I think that is the coolest stinking thing ever. Like to have an idea and to go ahead and create it and do it and make it and have your own like Disney pins. Like I think that's so special. So here they are. So the ones that she had are the ones that she had left. She had, um, Adventureland, Liberty Square and Frontierland. And I was seriously so happy that she gave me these. Like this is literally something my friend made and gifted to me. Like that's, that's so magical and special. And it's a form of Disney that she created while well, her and Mina created. And I honestly love these. I seriously love the color so much on Frontierland. I really loved her Fantasyland one as well. Uh, I would have loved to get that one, but they were all sold out of that one actually. Um, but honestly, I, I love these so much and these definitely have a special place in my heart and they're gonna have a special place on my pin board. So that was all the goodies that I picked up from New York. Well, I mean, all the like Disney things. I did pick up a few other things, but it was nothing really too crazy. Um, these were all the Disney things that I picked up. Again, I had such a great time with Rowan. We had such a magical experience while we were there. So thank you so much, Rowan, for just being like the most gracious host. You are just an absolutely beautiful person on the inside and out. It's so funny because I was like crying on my way to go see you because I hate leaving my family. I have anxiety when I leave them and then when I was leaving I was crying because I was gonna miss you so much and I already miss you so so much I literally cannot wait to see you again and figure out when we're gonna get together and when we're gonna go to Disney like 
I mean, that's got to happen either just us on our girls trip or like our families going together because that would be a blast too and like Literally, you are like one of my best friends now and it all became possible because of YouTube. So I definitely praise YouTube for making friendships because it's just, it's a great bond that we have now. Let me know what your favorite thing out of this haul was. I seriously love it all. I really cannot pick. If I have to though, I think the cake worthy sweater and the Dumbo shirt, but I really love the Lady Liberty and like the pins. Okay, I seriously can't pick. I love it all. Let me know what your favorite is though. Tell me down below. All right, my beautiful Disney friends, no matter what you guys are doing today, I hope you're having an absolutely magical day and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.